Okay, folks, and here we are again, and uh, it seems that uh, some some people are going to go and, and do a protest at the BlizzCon uh, uh, 2019, and I say, eh, go ahead, you know. And the, the whole point is, I don't want you in my game. I don't want to play with people like this, okay? Remember, a person in Taiwan murdered a pregnant baby and then fled to Hong Kong to escape justice okay if you're gonna protest tell me what your solution to that 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 guy is tell me why tell me what you would do so that people like that don't get away with it okay tell me what you do do you what, what do you want what, what, what is the solution here what are you really protesting then okay you're protesting that, oh, oh, some guy that writes books against uh, civil rights in China, which we all can agree are, are lacking, right? And, uh, you know, uh, what? what? What are you going to do? So, have you read the law, extradition law that they had on the books there? I guarantee you, 99.9% .9 of you haven't. In fact, they went to the Geneva, uh, Geneva and had them help them write that law. In other words, it was as civil rightsy as you could get it. Okay. In other words, no politics, political people would have been in that law to be extradited. Okay. And people still protest. And and then they said, okay, we'll dump the law. And they were still protesting. In fact, one of the lead uh, guys doing the protesting was a week after they dropped the law, was still going on about the, them dropping the law. You know, like, it's just the rage culture of, of, of Antifa crazy nut bars that just want to, uh, you know, smash and grab and, and just go running around creating shit, okay? The guy was doing time in prison for money laundering. What, who else do you, do you... Type in the word money laundering and whom it's usually associated to. And then look at that region and then think about what that means, Okay? Just think about it real hard, okay? And then what you're really supporting, okay? Jeez, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like I, w I, I should save up some money and go to this and then confront these protesters, right? Right hardcore. And just ask them straight up, do you support people who, who, who kill pregnant women? Do you? What's your solution? And, and just see which which of them stands up and just suddenly acts like a crazy nut. Because that's what will ha would happen, right? They don't want to hear the truth, okay? They just want to have a protest because they want to have a protest now. This is just like the new, I don't know, new iPhone, okay? It's a little different when you're in Chile and, and the government is, is screwing you for, uh, you know, the basic necessities to live with, Okay? These people in Hong Kong are all fairly well to do. They're not they're not terribly off, okay guys? Right? And if they and they're making it hard for anybody who wants to even get out of there and leave the country because let's say I'm over here in Canada and I'm the immigration people. Do I want someone from Hong Kong to come over to my country who and look and I'm looking at all these major protests? I go, No. I won't take the risk that you're you're one of them. Okay? And that's basically what's happening. So all, all the protesting you do just screws people over there, okay? And you get racists and everything else involved in it too, and, and, and it, they just pile on, and they just pretend. They're just fake, fake protesting, okay? It's just fake, right? Now you want to look at Catalonia, okay? Look at that protest. You had more people involved in that than you, you would see in a Hong Kong one, okay? Basically, what you got in Hong Kong is a bunch of gangs running around smashing things. That's exactly what you got. And the regular people over there, that's what they're saying. They're sick and tired of it. Okay? It's getting to the point, guys, where the, the you know, eventually even the, the Chinese will just roll in there and that'll be it. Okay? Huh? Eh, you know, I... I, I We've even had, you know what, and, and here's the kicker. We've actually had discussions in Diablo 3 about this. And I explained, okay, all this stuff. And then you don't, you, I just say, and look, 
if you want more politics in your video games what's going to happen is somebody's going to be against the tree frogs be, uh, being murdered in some forgotten uh, forest somewhere and they're going to be rambling about it in your chat room while you're trying to find somebody to play with a and it's just going to be filled with garbage okay this is the problem okay this is why I pay Blizzard okay to uh, get out of reality be immersed and enjoy my game and play with other gamers of like mind okay if I want reality I'll go sit here on reddit I'll go I'll go to GameSpot here and and we can all uh, discuss politics and solutions to this uh, the one thing I will say about every one of these websites talking about this not one of them mentions the other side of this that 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 the evil part okay and this is where you, you can really say you should be protesting is that the Chinese government and the Hong Kong government used this uh, wife murderer pregnant baby killer whatever you want to call it to bring this law forward and they originally had it vague enough that yes you should have protested but once the protest started they re went and did the entire law completely so that all that was gone okay that's when the protest should have went away but it got it got hijacked by a bunch of hoodlums okay that's, that's all there is to it and 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 you know if you want to go down to blizzcon and act like a fool i hope they ban the shit out of all of you because that'll make the community less toxic and more enjoyable as we talk about game stuff like yesterday we were all talking about builds and getting primals and different things like this and you know all that stuff which was fun right you know we're all kind of looking at each other's builds and seeing what we could improve what we you know all that oh shit oops yeah so I, I just and, and you know you, all you have to do to see what I say is true is go back to Battlefield uh, uh, 2, okay, and look at all the moral outrage there about politics and video games and ideologies, and then and, and when it doesn't fit their ideology or your ideology, it's okay to be political in your games. Well, that doesn't work. It's, it's not a two-way street, okay? Keep your crap out of the video games. Go to the Reddit forums, go to the other things, discuss that stuff where it's supposed to be, okay? It's like a moderator for, uh, um, if you go into the Slash Gaming area and you talk politics, you should get kicked out of there. Unless you're, you're talking about something political that happened in a video game. Then I could see how, uh, but you should be moderated to the point where making sure it's about games, okay? Now, if you just went up and just started talking about Trump and, you know, this U.S. election coming up in a year or so, and you just, you, you know, you just start doing that, threads like that in the gaming area, what will happen with a moderator there? He'll kill your thread. He'll say, go to po slash politics. That, that's, that's what I'm talking about, okay? And, and, and I, know, uh, I know some of you uh, younger folk don't think things through sometimes before you do things, right? I used to be like that too. I still am sometimes. I get I get pissed off about stuff, and then I think about it, and I'm less less angry. That's that's the difference. That's what happens as you get a little older. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, yeah. So <laughs> this is, and and here's the other thing. There was this uh, the quartering where he he his whole mantra was about having no politics in video games so I went over and I used to be a member of his site and it just wasn't going anywhere any of it because it just uh, anyway so uh, I started looking at uh, his last bunch of videos and, and it's just yeah you know it's, it's like I said hi hypocrisy go look up what the word means right Anyway, this is my opinion on things, and that's the main thing, too. Eh? <coughs> People can go and get rid. I'm still getting uh, uh, flack for standing up on this, eh? 
okay and the, and the fact of the matter is everything I say is the truth okay and that's the point the difference between some people who report one thing but they're not re telling you everything that's a, that's another thing too eh? that's what really really stirred me up into all this once I read see when I heard about it I was just as angry as the rest of you so I started checking up on what's going on and then I found out about that guy that murdered his wife pregnant wife in Taiwan fled to Hong Kong and I thought there's no way I can support a protest about that <laughs> I'm sorry that's just uh, no no I draw the line there man when you start killing people and that that's what your protest starts from yeah no 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 sorry guys uh, and, and and you know the majority of people are not behind you on on this stuff okay you're gonna get maybe a hundred morons that, that show up there just to get headlines right they probably have YouTube pages and have sponsorships that use data mining and clickbait crap, right? You know, like, see, this is another thing, eh? I watched a nice video there the other day about all these little sponsorship things you guys see in uh, uh, in the videos, you know, the uh, so-and-so sponsors this and so-and-so sponsors this video. Be careful of those, guys. If you get monetized... Um, be very wary that what those those companies are doing is data mining their users okay and it's it's uh the money may be good but uh you got you gotta you will then be looked at as as less than moral okay for what you're doing and it gives me a new light onto certain characters uh what they're all about they're not about worrying about uh you the user they just want more money okay I see it I see enough clickbait here going on okay right like uh, you know a, a, a so-called see first of all he this one guy he's he's trying to make video games like kind of like what I was doing but he's so so-called got a team together and they're making one I mean he's been talking about that for like eight months if I had if I had three or four people with me doing this I'd be done a video game by now right anyway uh and then and then when and when I, I put a little heat on about all the the bs going on there that he's just a, a steam shill right then it's oh i used to be a world of warcraft guy and all this other stuff uh, sure and i'm going to tell you something activision and blizzard they don't want big channels um to support them they want and, and it's actually been said they want guys that, that play multiple different games right and then might and the reason and here's the here's a really neat reason behind that is once I've played 15 different types of games all right and done playthroughs and 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 whatnot I, I'm a little more schooled in gaming okay if I just play one video game all the time right it gets boring okay I'm just gonna say that because it's true you mix it up once in a while at least guys you get yourself known for something sure but then spread it around I'm giving a little advice to people at the same time uh, because then these other companies when you say something okay it means more okay I've had this discussion over at this guy's gaming page and and, and every single person that ever tries to melt me off or or attack me in any shape way or form not only is the attack stupid okay easily debunked okay but I look at them and I see no subs okay no gaming nothing and you and it's every single person right and you gotta wonder I says I, I even said it in a post I says why don't you bring forth somebody who's played a video game before you talk about gaming <laughs> okay Go play a whole bunch. Go do a playthrough and put the videos up there on the internet. Why is it you can't do that? And then that shuts that person up, right? It's not that hard to to set up OBS, standard OBS with a you get a video five dollar video camera and 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 you can do this. Okay, it's not that hard. <laughs> you see what I'm you see what I'm up against? Sounds like a bunch of uh, uh, what is it? Uh, asset flippers that, that steam asset flippers that are raging because you know they're upset and and yesterday's post about uh this the ea thing they nuked that thread 
you know, like about a minute after I posted that video and people are still trying to get angry about it all over there and you got to get early on these things boys and girls it's almost like I knew when something was going to happen eh? <laughs> anyway yeah yeah and here's the kicker eh? what what is what is EA doing right you know like what are, what are they up to well they're getting so they put politics in all their video games okay they put loot boxes up your yin yang and and wondered why uh you know nobody wants to buy their shit no more they they screwed with battlefront uh battlefield 5 so bad it was just well that's not a world war Two game that's a fantastic war game though i mean whatever that's what they should have shoved that out as but you know the the people then had a leak where it showed their sjw and it you know <sighs> mentality towards everybody and and that's where the rage comes and if you want more crap like that in your video games then go to this blizzcon thing and protest because you're the people that we don't want in our video games okay we don't want you okay it's not the other way around okay and this is why game companies are, are, are putting the foot down on this shit. It's because we're the majority here. Okay? We just want to play our video games. And I'll even say it be left the hell alone by you poli political morons. Okay? I, I'd use an F-bomb right now and say, mm, politics. Okay? All politics are, is somebody trying to, to, shove their opinion on me and make a buck off it while they're doing it it's so perverse nowadays especially in the u.s where you have two parties that are bought and paid for by corporations that don't give a shit right because the more they can buy these people off the more they can do whatever the hell they want it's not about you it's not about me and the quicker you wake up and realize that the better now you know i had my teeth out Okay, and apparently they didn't clean the equipment. I gotta go get some blood tests. I could have something really bad. I could it, it could be nothing, but you know, other people. You know, I've lost a lot of weight here in the last uh, oh six or seven months. But you know, I also you get to a certain age, you kind of get bigger, and then you kind of you know whatever. My brother went through this. He got really big, and then he, uh, but he did it a year before me, which is weird. Uh, anyway he's the younger one so I don't have any symptoms of anything that they want me to go get a blood test for except for the one thing you, you, you the symptoms could hide for a while so <laughs> yeah and it's the worst thing you just imagine uh, yeah so I got that on the brain right and then this is gonna be money I gotta spend to go to a doctor to get reimbursed and then this is this takes time more time for me to get hardware that I want to do things and 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 uh, and that's the real world. That's why I play video games to get that out of my brain and get away from all this shit, right? And these morons want to bring it into my video games. I'm sorry. The the I'm I I want to be I want to go to BlizzCon with with a thousand people when they have a hundred and just swarm all the way around them and say we don't want you in our bloody video games. Leave. Okay. Uh, you want you want to uh, you want to protest? Go to Hong Kong, okay? Go shake the hands of the the the, the baby killer, because that's who you're helping. You're helping criminals like that sit sit around in Hong Kong because they know that they won't be getting extradited. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that a lovely thing to say? You're helping a a baby killer. You know. And that's the kind of thing that I'm I'm guarantee a blizzard and these other companies they don't want to be involved with, okay? Right? It, it's not just about them making money from Chinese people or you know whatever, okay? They don't want that <laughs> PR. Could you imagine the rage, eh? If it were the other way around that people were protesting about the baby killer and 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 then what? 
you know where's where's the where's the rage there eh? I think some of these people are sick in the brain actually the more I'm the more I think about it the more I'm thinking holy Jesus some but some 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 of these people have got to be wrong in the head like really wrong in the head and this is why mental health care is, should be a little bit more of a priority as we go forward in the next part of this century because there are some people that are really badly damaged in the brain and I, I just, <laughs> wow just wow anyway let's have a look here what else is blah 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 okay See, if, and you know, if I were the Blizzard guy, I'd be putting it exactly like this. Listen, the reason we w are putting the foot down on this is because there are people that play our video games that don't want to be have politics in their video games. And that would be the end of the discussion right there. That's it. Okay. The, the flip side of this is that from here forward if you're going to have a policy like that you need to make sure that when you're um, making video games okay making the, the actual games too that you're not sliding ideologies into them too okay now mind you I could make a video game about uh, a fictional uh, uh, game about the United States where you have the Republicans and the Democrats and there was a big civil war there's nothing wrong with that it's a game remember that okay and you could do all kinds of things that are very similar to what's going on in the world today and then just diverge it into la la land okay space aliens came and everybody united in peace and happiness and blah, blah, blah. you know there's all kinds of things you can do this is why we like video games okay because we it, it, it does a lot of what ifs. It gets your mind away from all the troubles of the world. You know, it's like that show Cheers. You know, people, and that's what people used to do before video games. They'd go out to a bar and be with their friends and get away from the bullshit. That's why when you're out with your friends and, and, and there's almost an unwritten rule. No politics and no religion, right? There's, there, there, you, go to, you go to a Discord channel. No politics and no religion. You go here and there. No politics and no religion. You know why? Because everybody's different. Everybody has a different view on every single bit of it. Okay? My view on politics will be different than yours. And yours. And yours. It may be similar, but it's not quite the same. Right? It never will be. Because we're all individuals. Alright? It's, it's when you get these little mobby, little rage guys together who are angry at anything. You know? And that's, that's another thing. Okay? I mean, I even I even showed that Steven Crowder uh, didn't do his job on researching some of this, and that's why he's stayed right the heck away from it now. Okay, you notice that? All right, you don't see him talking very much about it because I put in large capital letters exactly the following. I said, "Yeah, a guy uh, it, that was living in Taiwan with his wife, his pregnant wife, murdered her and fled to Hong Kong to escape justice. That's how all this started." So I don't see where any of these protesters are talking about a solution to stop that kind of behavior. And if you're a Christian, like you claim to be, how do you feel about baby killers? Oh, 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 oh. That kind of, that kind of really puts the foot down on a lot of that. <laughs> you know, someone who's pro-life and all that jazz, okay? Here's a guy murdering a pregnant woman. Yeah. We know exactly how Christians should be feeling about that, right? And yet here we are, and this exposes the so-called pretend Christians that are wandering around, you know, raging about supporting a baby killer then, you know? Uh, anyway, so I'm going to get into uh, another game here. I'll, uh, I'll try it out, and we'll see where we go from here, and... Uh, We'll do some of that later. And uh, have fun, everybody. And just remember, okay, civil rights in China are not the best. It could be worse. It's getting better. It actually is. They've raised millions of their people up 
into the middle class and I guarantee you had things not got into this trade war things would have continued to progress okay that that's a fact okay the the, the 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 point being is if you look at the standard of living of people in China <coughs> from World War two to today it's a hell of a lot better than it was okay and that's that was the point of us in the West going over there and putting some investments in there to make a buck back the problem is is it along the way these corporations lost the morality that they have okay and they just stopped trying to push for a little extra you know a little uh, if we do business over here you know if we all do business over here could you do this for your people that's what it should have been okay you know but no one did that and they just want that's you know you got like what uh, 1.3 billion people who over there you got 250 three four hundred five hundred million in uh, North America right <sighs> yeah and in the news uh, there are now more rich uh, the, the the rich people in China now outnumber the rich people in the US huh go figure I can tell you who's gonna win the trade war if it continues okay <coughs> We, I think we can, I think you can tell, right? USA is too fractured along uh, ideology to get over it, and um, you're just not going to be able to get things done properly forever. The new NAFTA deal won't happen, um, which is good for me. I'm in Canada, so uh, from anything from 1969 and back like earlier uh, is now in the public domain and that means uh, and, and the way television works is it goes from the time of creation okay so if you created the first Doctor Who in 1966 and ran it 10 years that 10 years is now in the public domain okay that's how it's written all right and they reworded that in the new law trust me <laughs> they don't want that shit going on because there's 26 years of Doctor Who there in a row which means that 26 year run okay it's now in the public domain which brings it up to the 90s actually uh, it's 92 or 91 or something like that so a lot of good old Doctor Who there that you can play around with there's the Star Trek the original series is all in the, the public domain so you can have fun with that in Canada there's a whole bu you know there's a whole bunch of stuff now that you could be getting creative with and having fun yet yet okay you'd have to be careful because these guys like CBS would be the kinds of people who would come up here and sue you even though it's in the public domain and this is where you got to be careful too you have to make sure that um, um, you know you're you're aware that if you're getting into something that that they're currently doing with like discovery is doing a, a, a TOS era or pre era thing you could rewrite history and just say it's canon if you want and if everybody agrees that what I'm doing is canon then screw CBS and CBS gets angry and goes and sues you and they got all these lawyers and they know all the loopholes and all the little uh, whatever is to drag it out and make you here's the kicker eh? a lot of people think it's expensive to do you know defend against lawsuits and things it is and it isn't okay because you could bring a, lo a counter lawsuit back against them because you know it's it's explicitly written in the law okay what's public domain and isn't so you could say that they're trying to purposely harm you by uh, you know making you spend money and you you basically are suing to get your lawyers fees and and, and anything back and you would win okay the whole point of the, the the exercise for CBS is just to drag it out so you can't do shit okay well they get away with making money off it still okay that's what it is anyway so yeah and the new Terminator movie I don't know there was the, the, you know what it is it's like the CGI bits were kind of fun to watch and and little I would say about uh, 35 minutes of that movie was was entertaining and then the rest of it 
it just gets in it, it just feels contrived uh you know by people that no longer are able to make films <laughs> i just what can i say killing john connor like that that's just sorry that that just that that did it right there that was when i went oh i could just i could just leave yep 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 yep, yep. anyway gotta go